And we go with more. On Monday in Syria, four soldiers were killed and four others were wounded in a new Israeli aggression against Damascus, one of numerous and repeated attacks in the context of Zionist attempts to intensify the war in Syria, as denounced by Syrian authorities. Our correspondent there in Damascus, Hicham Wanos, with the details. government denounced the world's inaction against these attacks and demanded that the United Nations and its Security Council assume their responsibilities in condemning and stopping Israeli attacks that endanger security and stability not only in Syria but also at regional and international levels. We denounced the persistent stance of turning a blind eye to the repeated Israeli aggressions and condemned the fact that the United Nations and its Security Council are submissive to the will of NATO and the United States that seek to fulfill their failed plans to divide Syria, as well as the fact that the big media operations also distort the reality of these attacks to serve the plans of NATO and Western powers. The aggression took place a few days after the Russian and Syrian air forces had destroyed a terrorist command center in the northwestern province of Idlib, following the disclosure of extremist plans to carry out suicide attacks against the Russian and Syrian armies in the de-escalation zone in that province. An issue that, according to Damascus, proved its allegation that the Israeli occupation entity is trying through these attacks to weaken the Syrian armed forces in order to prevent a total defeat of the terrorist gangs. These and the other aggressions are part of the Israeli reaction to the political and military power on the Syrian side to solve the crisis, and are part of the Zionist plan to hinder the Syrian efforts to eradicate terrorist gangs and to end the foreign occupation and achieve the liberation of every inch of Syrian land. Either in the occupied Syrian Gulan or in the eastern area, on the eastern side of the Euphrates River. The attack comes simultaneously with the mobilization of U.S. support troops to Washington's illegal military bases on Syrian soil. Invading forces which, besides protecting Daesh terrorists, stealing Syrian oil, counteracting Russian military influence in this part of the world, are consolidating their presence in Syria, according to military experts, to defend at a given moment the Israeli occupation entity from a possible war against it, an eventuality that the peoples of the region consider inevitable and predict will include all member countries of the resistance bloc.